let us discuss about logical NAND gate. When output of an AND gate is inverted through a NOT gate, the operation is called NAND operation. The logic gate which performs this NAND operation is called NAND gate. A NOT gate followed by an AND gate makes a NAND gate. The basic logical construction of the NAND gate is shown here in this figure. The symbol of NAND gate is similar to the symbol of AND gate but one bubble is drawn at the output point of the AND gate in the case of NAND gate. Truth table of a NAND gate is shown here. Here output is whole bar of A dot B. Here when A and B both are 0, the output is 1. When A is 0 and B is 1, the output is 1. When A is 1 and B is 0, the output is 1. And when both A and B are 1, the output is 0. It is just reverse of the truth table of AND gate, where output is A dot B. Here, when A and B both are 0, the output is 0. When A is 0 and B is 1, the output is 0. When A is 1 and B is 0, the output is 0. And when both A and B are 1, the output is 1. NAND gate actually means not AND gate, which means the output of this gate is just reverse of that of a similar AND gate. We know that the output of the AND gate is only high or 1 when all the inputs are high or 1. In all other cases, the output of AND gate is low or zero. In the case of NAND, the case is just opposite. Here, the output is only low or zero when and only when all outputs of the gate are 1 and in all other cases, the output of NAND gate is high or 1. Like AND gate, a NAND gate can also be more than two inputs like 3, 4 input NAND gate. A NAND gate is also referred as a universal logic gate as all the binary operations can be realized by using NAND gates only. There are three basic binary operations named as AND operations, OR operations and NOT operations. By these three basic operations, one can realize all complex binary operations. Now, we will show that all these three binary operations can be realized by using only NAND gates. Now, we will try to realize NOT gate using NAND gate. When both inputs of a two inputs NAND gate are zero, the output is one, and both inputs of a NAND gate are one, the output is zero. Hence, a NOT gate can very easily be realized from NAND gate just by applying common inputs to the NAND gate. This is done by short-circuiting all the inputs terminals of a NAND gate. Here, x is either 1 or 0. Now we will try to realize AND gate using NAND gate. As we told earlier, a NAND gate is a NOT gate followed by an AND gate. So, if we can cancel the effect of NOT gate in a NAND gate, it will become an AND gate. Hence, a NOT gate followed by a NAND gate realizes an AND gate. In this case, we use the NOT gate which is realized from NAND gate and the logic circuit is shown here. Now, we will try to realize OR gate from NAND gate. From the Morgan theorem, we know x equals whole bar of a bar dot b bar which equals a double bar plus b double bar and this is nothing but a plus b. This equation is a logical OR operation. The above logic equation can be represented by gates as shown where inputs first inverted then pass through a third NAND gate. Here input A is inverted through this NAND gate and becomes A bar. 
input B is inverted through this NAND gate and becomes B bar. Output of third NAND gate is whole bar of A bar dot B bar and this is A plus B according to De Morgan's theorem. Now we have proved that all three basic binary operations can be realized by using only NAND gate. Hence, any other simple or complex binary operation must also be realized by using only NAND gates. Hence, it is justified to call NAND gates as universal gates. Now we will try to realize NAND gate using diode and transistor. For simplicity, we will show here only two inputs NAND gate circuit by using diodes and transistors. This NAND gate is called DTL NAND gate or diode transistor logical NAND gate. When both input A and B are given with zero volt, both of the diodes are in forward bias condition that is in on condition. Supply voltage will get passed to the ground through diode D1 and D2. Entire supply voltage plus 5 volt will ideally drop across resistor R and hence base terminal of transistor T will not get enough potential to turn on the transistor and hence the transistor will be in off condition. As a result, Supply voltage plus 5 volts will appear at output terminal X and hence output X will become high or logical 1. Now, if either of diode D1 and D2 is applied with 0 volt, same thing happens as in these cases also the supply voltage gets passed to the ground either of forward bias diode. In those cases also the output will be logical high or 1. When both of the inputs are given with plus 5 volts, that is logical 1, both of the diodes are in off condition and hence supply voltage will appear at base terminal of the transistor T which makes it switched on and supply voltage gets passed to the ground through this transistor. Ideally, entire supply voltage plus 5 volts will drop across resistor R and output terminal X will get ideally 0 volt and hence output is considered as logical 0. Hence, output is only zero when and only when both inputs are plus 5 volts or logical 1. There are many NAND gate ICs available in the market. IC7400 is a NAND gate IC where four two inputs NAND gates are available. Another NAND gate IC is IC7420 which contains two four inputs NAND gates. IC7430 contains 1 8 inputs NAND gates. 